When we talk about the human body, there's normally two sides. One side thinks we're fragile and the other thinks we're durable. But what both sides can agree on is that if you twist the human's head 180 degrees, you die. So when a gentleman in a circus was able to perform this act, it stunned the whole world. Hey, I'm Alex Lam, and in this episode of Stories of the World, we'll be talking about the human owl, Martin Lorello, who was able to spin his head 180 degrees without dying. Our neck area is one of the most important areas on the human body. It connects our brain to the rest of the body. It also houses a lot of important stuff. It's got our spinal cord and nervous system, and you know, any damage to that, it can make the neck down paralyzed. Uh, it's got our esophagus, which is a tube that connects our mouth to the stomach. So you get the point. There is a lot of stuff going on in the neck area. So when someone is able to twist their head 180 degrees without dying, well that is something incredible. So let's get to the story. Martin Emerling, better known as Martin Lorello, was born in May 1885 in Nuremberg, Germany. He migrated to the United States of America in 1921, along with several other people who suffered from rare conditions. He was known for being able to turn his head around 180 degrees, earning him the nickname the Human Owl. Interestingly, he wasn't born knowing how to do this bizarre act. Loriello spent three years training. Each day he would slowly twist his head little by little until he was finally able to turn his head 180 degrees. While Loriello's head was twisted, he was able to stand, walk and even drink. However, he wasn't able to breathe. Other than being able to rotate his head, Loriello was also known for training animals. He took special interest in training cats and dogs to perform acrobatics. One of these famous acts was where he trained two cats to wear gloves and box each other. He also had an act where he would have two dogs dance together. Loriello also had a dog named Frisco who had been trained to walk on his hind legs like a human and could even smoke a cigar while carrying an umbrella. His routine normally started with the animal performances then ended with his signature head twist. He performed with many groups such as Bailey Circus where he was known as Bobby the boy with the revolving head, Ringling Brothers, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Hubert's Museum, Coney Island, and that's just to name a few. Strangely, not much is known about Martin Lorello's personal life because there's literally no documentation of it. However, it's known that he abandoned his wife since she lodged a complaint against him via telegram, resulting in Lorello's arrest. According to his fellow performer, Bergiano, he didn't like the American flag and was supposedly a Nazi supporter. Following his last performance in 1945 with Ripley, no one knows what happened to Lorello. According to rumors, he passed away in the 1950s. Now over 70 years later, we have a handful of people who are able to perform this bizarre act. There's a gentleman in Russia called Alexander who is seen here performing the head spin. A young Indian boy can perform the trick as well. And a super recent video posted by a beautiful lady named Nadia D, which is incredible because that was just a two years ago. Now I've linked her YouTube channel in the description box below. But here's a question for you guys. If you can learn to twist and turn a certain part of your body, which part would it be? Let me know in the comments below. So that's the story of the human owl, Martin Lorello. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. Also, be sure to check out my previous videos. I'm Alex Lamb and this is Stories of the World.